apologies, but you're not clear to purchase from me yet. Sorry, but you will have to get approval before you can buy any weapons from me. if we hope to restore the city. Your inability to provide a legitimate excuse for denying them will only last so long. Victoria is right. I know you're angry, but you can't let personal matters interfere with what may be best for everyone. Personal matters? This is a Ministry of State matter, and I will handle it as I see fit. He is a traitor. He turned his back not only on his family, but on our people's entire belief system. The fact that he still breathes is a stain upon the House of Ethal name. You would doom us all with your pride. I will do as I please as head of this house. If you are not a member of House of Ethal, you do not belong here. Another High Council lackey come begging? I told Lovick no more! Forgive my brother. He has been forgetting his manners of late. Victor, this is Anasco's chosen. You recall Lovick sent word. I recall he spoke of a newly anointed promised. And we do not need help, especially from an outsider. You can't continue to refuse the Council. You must act. Your inaction is killing you. Precisely, which is why he leaves me no choice but to say this. My nephew, Varric, has left. And until he returns, Victor refuses to assist the Council. These are hardly matters for the ears of an outsider. Of course not. You are an outsider. You have no understanding of our house. Is this not the opportunity you've been looking for, brother? A third party capable of finding Varric? Yes, you said so yourself. Someone with no loyalties to speak of. And if he's become promised, truly his arrival is more than coincidence. <sighs> Serpent, give me strength. You both speak true. Perhaps I have reacted in haste. Tell me, Vindicator, are you well practiced in discretion? I have heard reports on Ryujin from the Ministry of Conjunction. This news gives me hope. As Vittoria mentioned, my son, Varric, has left. Essentially, he has abandoned his post. And not only did he turn his back on his house, but the Great Serpent as well. He is a traitor and must be dealt with as such. Victor, surely you don't mean it. He does, Luther. He is allowing his fervent pride and anger to cloud his judgment. What my brother is trying to say is that he wishes his own son dead. First, we lose Vashti to that malignance tearing through Dazra. And now you so willingly offer up Varric. As if our house has not suffered enough loss already. Of course it would. As someone from the settled systems, you have no concept of what the Great Serpent demands of us. I do not wish Varric dead, but as head of the Ministry of State, he left me no choice. All must serve. Those who refuse will be met with death. Exceptions show weakness, and we cannot afford to show weakness at a time like this. We have done the same for less. You act as if death is the only answer. What about forgiveness? I will not risk the Ministry's authority on the actions of my own son even if he is my chosen heir. 
If the High Council wants my cooperation, I need you to find Vedic and carry out his sentence. And I would ask you to spare him. My brother is acting under impulse, not reason. I have never been more clear. Speak against me one more time, and you will regret it. Varric has a signet ring with House Vethal's family crest. Bring it to me as proof of death. Only then will I grant you access to the power grid. See that you get it done. I recommend you start by speaking to patrons of the Herald's Rest. Some of Varric's associates there may know where he went. But keep in mind, anyone who has directly aided him in hiding is an accomplice and shares his fate. Good. And remember, absolute discretion. All anyone needs to know is that you are looking for Varric for personal reasons. I will not risk word of his disappearance getting out before I can say the situation has been handled. You do not have approval to trade with me. You seem to be doing well. I'll drink to that. <coughs> oh, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? You and me both. The worst thing that can possibly happen, happens. And then he disappears. I mean, come on, we're supposed to be friends. Hmm. Is there ever a good reason to abandon your friends? You'd think B would at least be commiserating with me. But I'm suddenly too drunk to deal with. <laughs> Some friend she is. All she cares about is Varric. That's what we do. When we lost people to the so-called incident, we banded together. I just want Varric to show up so things can get back to normal. Whatever that is. No, I can't. I. Tain. He mentioned talking to Tain one day about getting off-world, seeing the settled systems. We never thought he was serious, and even if he wasn't, hmm, Tain still might know something. Tain's a regular. I'm sure he'll be by any minute if you just want to take a seat.
already had several. Ah, uh, what can I say? Nobody makes a drink like you do. Come now, just one more drink? I do not wish to say goodbye just yet. I have fallen under your spell. <sighs> Same thing every day. A drink or two ought to lighten this mood. Hey, aren't you that outsider made promise that showed up here recently? But we will push on, Merlin. Oh, wow. <laughs> you really bought in, huh? I'm an outsider myself. It's hard to get into the whole giant snake thing. Tell me about it. I've been toting stuff back and forth for these people for years and still get the cold shoulder most places I go. But then these people lose half their city and you show up and suddenly it's divine intervention. Well, glad Dozer didn't disappoint. Something tells me you aren't kidding. Anyway, enough about that. What can I do you for? That so? Well, I guess that depends, Vindicator. Who wants to know? Oh, sure. You just show up out of the blue and suddenly want to know where to find House Vathal's number one son? And I know he wasn't lost to whatever ate up half of Dazra. Plenty of people have seen him since. Although... Let's just say after what went down here, my retirement's looking imminent, and I haven't exactly been saving up for a rainy day. So if you're feeling generous, maybe we can help each other out. Nice to see we operate on the same wavelength. I'm pretty sure he's heading into the highlands. Just not sure where, but I do have the means to track him. So you just say the word and we're off to the races. Oh no, I'm stuck on you until this is over. Let's just say I have an investment to look after. Once we're outside of Dazra, I'll fire up my tracker and fingers crossed, it'll lead us right to him. Just head out the west gate, should be the fastest route.
temporary encampment, but not an uneventful stay for the occupant. this view. Despite everything, I cannot help but be moved by how beautiful my home can be. There's gotta be something here to clue us in as to where he went. Uh, friend's a strong word. More like friendly acquaintances. Guess we both felt the Herald's Rest was one of the few places that made us feel like real people. A couple of drinks and everyone's your friend in that moment. He's a good enough guy, I suppose. A little self-absorbed, spoiled. Growing up in a noble house probably does that to you. A little naive, too. He's got this friend, Bianca. She's crazy about him. But the guy's oblivious. And his friend Eggy? Guy needs to lay off the Koza. But I heard Varric let him in on his tab. That's gonna work out well. Blames his dad for everything, though. And I get it. Victor Bathal is not an easy man. He's just used to getting his way and the world revolving around him. When you're raised to be elder, that's bound to bring you all sorts of extra attention. So sometimes when hanging around with us peons, he forgets we have our own thoughts and opinions. Well, it's Victor we're talking about, so it wouldn't surprise me. 
But Varric can't see how much effort Victor puts into making sure his son has all the tools he needs to take over. He'll go on these rants of Victor drilling him on scenarios. Stuff makes my brain hurt. But Varric talks about it like child's play. Hey, whatever you want. Break it open.
Hopefully they announce something. could have done without that. All my years and all the planets I've been on. Never gonna get used to those things. Terror, what? Eh, I think I'll pass. At least I don't see a body around here, so I hope that means Varric's alive. You find anything? Injured? Hope he doesn't bleed out by the time we find him. Well, what's next? Varric must have fled in a hurry since his tracker's still here. So guess the rest is up to us. Sounds like a plan. And hopefully that injury slows him down enough for us to catch up. Let's head back down and see what we can find. And by we... I mean you.
That's far enough, strangers. You want to tell me what you're doing on my property uninvited? House Vethal's heir? It makes sense now. You've seen him? You saw Varric? I... Yes. I believe we did. Irina, are you sure you know what you're doing? Zen. Yes, I know quite well. Never mind my partner, they're just overly cautious. As I said before, I've never seen Varric Pathal. We keep to ourselves. There's no reason for a path to cross. But... We did aid an injured young man a few days ago. That's gotta be Varric. It's too coincidental. It must have been him. We sent him north. There's a long abandoned growth farm we felt he could make use of. He claimed he lost everything in the incident that swallowed half of Dazra. He wanted to start a new life. We even gave him two of our own growths to get started. Thanks for the help. All must serve.
Berg's been busy if he got this much done. Nothing going on out here. How about you? Find anything? Sounds like it's a waiting game then. It seems I have uninvited guests. You want to explain yourselves? Whoa, 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 hey, it's me. Dang. Put the gun down already. It's not you I'm concerned about. It's your friends. Rightfully so. I wish I could say I was pleased to meet you, but something tells me this isn't a social call. Please, if you're here on my father's orders, allow me to plead my case. <sighs> I'm glad someone does for once. I am not sure how familiar you are with our culture, but all I've ever wanted was the right to choose. I was born House Vethal. I was raised to inherit the role of Elder, to run the Ministry of State, to worship the Great Serpent. But I want none of it. That's not the life anyone wants. But it is the unfortunate way of House Baroon. The collective comes first, the individual second. It's never mattered how much I tried to reason with him. My father simply would not let me go. His pride and the fear of what it would mean for House Vethal is all he cares about. Then you understand. All I want is to make my own life. Something Tane understood and was willing to help me with. The credits help too, but yeah, guess you got the whole scoop now. Yeah, I needed a way to find him once he got outside the city. I lost my ship to the incident, so I didn't want Beric running off thinking I could just grab him and go. I was also out all the credits he was gonna pay me. That's where you came in. I figured, why not two for the price of one? I didn't realize it was gonna turn into a whole thing. So, now you know my true intentions for leaving, and given the circumstances, I may be here for some time. My hope now is to make the best of it here. It seems opportunistic, I know. The truth is, the scaled citadel was the last straw. My people are so blinded by faith and politics, they don't see how it's destroying us. Anasko Varun eliminated half our population in the blink of an eye. My sister Vashti among them. I could no longer live in a society that won't put its people first. That would destroy itself in the name of a god that has done nothing for us. Especially when that faith leads to hate. I hope you can see why I want to walk away from all this. To start my own life, I ask that you give me that chance. Anything. Name it. My ring? Vashti gave it to me. 
It's all I have left of her since the cataclysm. The disaster took every physical reminder of her except for this ring. Just wiped her from existence. True. It's as if she's looking out for me. One last time. Take it. I'll find solace in the fact that the ring will remain with my family. And now I hope we are done here. Thank you for seeing reason. I owe you both my life and freedom. Now that's over with. I'm gonna hang back here, talk to Varric a bit. Besides, I don't want to be around when you break the news to Victor. Do me a favor and find me at the Herald's Rest when you're done. Let us speak. You're back. What news do you bring? What have you done? Varric? This blood is on your hands, Victor. I hope you remember this. Clearly said exceptions should be made. No, it was Varric's choice. He knew the consequences. You were his father. You were supposed to protect him. You think you were doing what is right out of some blind dedication. 
But you are destroying this house. You already lost one child. You had to murder the other. Victoria, I will not hear any more of this. It is done. Leave us. Oh, I am leaving to mourn my nephew whose memory you disgrace with your very presence. Victoria! Leave her be, Luther. The Great Serpent will guide her. She will understand in time and emerge stronger for it. She will. She has duties to perform. Ultimately, I care nothing for what you think. Now, only one matter remains to discuss. Did you find anyone who aided my son in his treachery? Good. Unfortunately, I have heard ramblings among the people of Verdict's disappearance. Wardens are dealing with the matter as we speak. But you restored order to this house and have my gratitude. Here, the access code that Ekris needs to connect to the power grid. Now go. I have much to arrange. I would allow Victoria her space if I were you. I miss our home, but the keep shall do. and bodies must be fully devoted to this one. You do not have approval to trade with me. Indicator. The very sight of you offends me. I wish only to be rid of you. What could you? Oh. Serpent, give me strength. My heart beats with anticipation, and yet I fear to ask. 
The Great Serpent is truly merciful. Where is he? I must see him. My nephew, a growth farmer. I always knew that Victor would drive him away. Verg often spoke to me of his own dreams and aspirations. And they never did include house politics. I think even Victor knew he was unhappy. But his pride only allowed him to see a boy that would follow in his footsteps. My heart tells me that you are right. As much as I want to see his face, it is enough to know that Varric is alive and safe. You have brought me peace. Thank you, Vindicator. House Kadik seems to have remained largely unscathed. How fortunate for them. of his burdens what you are describing is a dream nothing more not a dream a message from the great serpent himself with all due respect to your craft dear sister now is not the time for incense and ashes or do you not see the depth of the crater before you on the contrary brother i see it for what it truly is and if we ignore this vision, Anesco will be lost to us forever. Enough with the proselytizing. The Vindicator has returned. Ah, did Victor finally relinquish the access code? Ah, excellent. We'll finally have the resources to fully charge the morning device. Now, let's hope Houses Kadik and Dulkef are as forthcoming. Politics can wait. Every moment we delay, Anasco descends further into the void. For the last time, faith will not remove the barrier. Science will. It is the hubris of science that failed you in this moment. We reached out to the Great Serpent. This is his reply. You claim he has forsaken us? I do no such thing. The Great Serpent's reply is not an answer, but a question. Are we worthy of his grace? Until that is proven, your works will not succeed.
It sounds like you agree with me. And yet, only one is the foundation for the other. But the proof is not in our words. It is in the vision. Anasco's presence still persists in this world. And he seeks our aid. Yeah, fine. I feel like I've lived this argument a thousand times. And the only way to move past it is to concede to its nonsense. Vindicator, speak to my sister. Agree to her fool's errand, so that we may continue the work of saving this city. Mm. The great serpent sends you to me once again.